So, you guys want to check out my nice twin disc racing clutch? Wait a minute. It's either missing a disc or, you know, somebody told a fib. Thought that was supposed to be a twin disc clutch, but anyway, I don't care. Uh, the pilot bearing has seen better days. I have to replace that. That's had the input shaft crammed into it from what it looks like. Yep, it's got a big burr on it. Uh, also, the engagement is trying to engage the clutch on this burnt up, rusty bullcrap because this clutch wants to engage almost, well, to that line right there, you see. So that might be part of the reason why it's not disengaging because it's trying to chew through all that bull crap. And it is wearing the center of the clutch out. Oh boy, here's a problem I see right off the bat. Should not be loose like that. And this is a cheap, crappy ratchet, too. Should be able to break it loose like that. Not tight. Not tight. Not tight. Also not tired. What the hell, man? You wonder why this thing's close to the fucking chimney? None of these are tight. Nah. That's not the way you build an engine, buddy. Loose. 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 They're all loose. What the hell? The intake manifold was loose, too. There'll be one tight one on this one. Now they're all loose. One bolt that was <laughs> one bolt that was actually tightened down to maybe close to spec. It clicked the torque wrench and the torque wrench is set at 60. But I broke every one of them loose with a little shitty ratchet. And you wonder why that smokes. I don't know about anybody else, but I've put like 75, 80 foot pounds on them bolts. <laughs> so I'm about to pull the heads off of it, see what it looks like. Okay, so not the right intake gaskets, it was sucking oil. Not only that, not the right head gaskets. Look how much area between the gasket and the bore there is, okay? That's, you're not supposed to have that. So you know you can see a white line where my old gasket used to run on all of these. This is not the right gasket. Okay, it's like that on both sides. The intake gasket's also not the right gasket. Uh, and you notice, well, this this the telltale sign of how bad it's running. Okay. 
plug don't stick in there quite as far as the rest of them. That one's running pretty good, not really. Okay, there's one cylinder head. Yeah, she is not a happy engine. Also, you'll notice these head gaskets he was using are so big, they're almost protruding with the sealing compression ring into the water jackets. Like it might even be in the water jacket. Yeah, that's going across part of the water jacket. They're so big. Almost, right at the edge of it, but yeah. You know, you gotta think that gasket's so many thousands thick, then you got all this surface area around this gasket that becomes part of the combustion chamber. It's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be a good tight seal, nice and even between the gaskets. That way, you know, it's not gonna blow the gasket out. And that way you're not losing this amount of volume in your cylinder. That's a compression loss, that's a power loss, that's an accident waiting to happen, like a blown head gasket waiting to happen. That is so close to the water jacket in a couple different places. Where's that? Yeah. That's actually over the water jacket if you look at it. If I can get it off there. Stuck on the dowel pin. Yeah. Well, not so much on that one. Yeah, it is though. It totally is. If you look at it, because that ain't perfectly centered. So yeah, that was a blown head gasket waiting to happen. But the main thing I'm worried about is I didn't spill nothing in there. That's just all the oil that was in each cylinder when I opened it up. And this side's even worse. So it, it's very, very glazed. There's a you can almost grab your fingernail on it like a little bit of a ring ridge. I'm going to have to mic this out, make sure it ain't cone shaped, and then uh, I'm probably just going to dingle ball hone it, put rings in it, and put the right gaskets and stuff on it. This is looking like we got passages. Yeah, that's not a passage up there. That's an oddball gasket. It's got to be a 4.125 bore gasket. That ain't no 4 inch bore gasket. That's 4.125 I bet. Anyway, he said he redid the heads. I'm probably going to go ahead and redo them again just to be on the safe side because uh, I'm not having very good luck with this thing so far. I might as well just start over again. <laughs> so there's another update video. Uh, it's working its way towards probably midnight. 12:30 somewhere around there right now, so I'm probably getting ready to uh, call it a night. So y'all take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.